everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we'll be discussing our Metronic's latest version, Metronic 8, and its files and folder structure. So, the first thing we need to do is to purchase and download the latest version of Metronic. So, um, you can go to um, Team Forest, like this. Link will be in the description below. So, once you're here, you can just purchase Metronic. Or if you already have Metronic purchased, you need, just need to come back to this page and download the latest version. Now, if once you have downloaded, downloaded the latest version, it should look something like this. This zip file right here, and when you have unzip it or unpacked it, it should look like this folder. And in this folder, we have two main um, folders, or one file and one folder. We have our old version, which is Metronic 7, and then we have our latest version, Metronic 8. So in Metro 8, we have our HTML bootstrap, um, our bootstrap 5 version, which is the latest version. And in here, we have our theme. And in our theme, we have our demo and our tools folder. Our demo folder, at the moment, we only have demo 1, which is uh, just a single demo. Uh, but in the future, we will definitely have um, other, few, other demos like demo 2, 3, 4, and so on, as uh, what we will have in Metronic 7. So first thing we want to go through is the tools folder. And in this tools folder is where we have our build tools. Uh, in our build tools, like our gulp and our webpack. And what build tools does is we just um, compile and deploy uh, our assets, such as our JS, our SAS, which is our CSS, our media files, and certain plugins that comes along with our, um, it comes along with Metronic. So we bundle all this up, we minify them and um, do all sorts of uh, build commands and then we deploy it as assets into our destination folder which is what we're going to see here so in demo one we have our dist and source this is our destination folder and in our destination folder we have multiple files and folders but uh, essentially in our disk folder is where we keep all of our html files so if we have our HTML here and open it in our browser, we see Metronic 8 running as it is. So we have our pages, which is our say profile, projects, wizards, search, blog, and so on. We have authentication samples, we have model samples, we have widgets, the statistics widgets, we even have um, like custom or specific apps, app type um, pages, like we have um, apps like for customers. So customers, we have a listing for a listing page of of how your project may have or will have a certain customers list page. We even have a customers details page. We have a subscription type app. We have an invoice type app, and we have a chat app. So all this again, they are working right off the bat. You can just type in certain things like this, and then it will return a certain like. Uh, placeholder response like so again this you can customize this uh, however you like in your project by going through the JS files we will discuss on that maybe in a future video but in this video we'll be talking about where everything is located so first thing is to note is if you look into our um, if you look into our URL up here in our address bar we can see this is where our dist folder is and then we have our apps chat and private so here we we can know that this page itself is located within the apps and then in the chat and it's the private.html so if you open this page or this file you get the exact same page all right so going back to our dist and then we even have our accounts account to be all of our um, HTML files within our HTML pages within the account um, tab or menu apps is everything within the apps so if you go to apps we have our chat customers inbox and subscriptions you can see all four of it here and then assets is what we mentioned what I mentioned previously where whatever you built either in via gulp or via webpack you will um, bundle it will minify or it will do all sorts of um, build commands and it will deploy these assets into this specific folder. Now this folder can change as in the path can change and once you do that you need to customize your build config to um, 
to make sure that it's deploying the assets to the correct folder. Um, we will definitely be giving you, a, uh, we'll be creating a new video on that to discuss how you can do exactly that. And then we have authentication, which is whatever's in here. So if you look in here, we have our email, uh, extended flow in general. So we have deactivation, we have error 404 is all here. Uh, we have our documentation, we have layouts. Now layouts is where we keep our uh, HTML files for our layouts um, sub-menu, I suppose we can call this a sub-menu. So we have a site and two bars, we have these two right here, and then we have a layout builder, which is uh, which is a tool, or basically it's a um, it's as what it says, it's a layout build. It builds Metronic layouts or Metronic 8 layouts based on the configurations that you've selected. And then we have our models, um, pages and widgets. So models here, pages are here, and widgets are here. So again, this is just uh, an organized layout on where you can find and locate all of our Metronic 8 HTML files. In our source, we have uh, our source, um, our source files like our source JS files, our media files, our plugins files, and our SAS files. Our JS files we have um, we are splitting it into like components, custom layouts, and vendors. Components would be um, like menus or maybe certain drawers or cookies or or stickies or search. These are JavaScript or JS components that is used in multiple pages within Metronic 8. And customs are custom scripts that are used in specific areas of Metronic. So for example, in the account, we have say an API key. So this API keys will only work for um, an API key page, which is within uh, account, so it's here. Where's my, this page. So this page right here. So perhaps we have um, a data table, the sorts. So perhaps in this page we have certain things like like a switch or maybe certain checkboxes like so, custom checkboxes like so that needs um, certain JS to work. So this is where we keep uh, that. We have orders and so on. So even in our apps we have our chat. So this is where we keep all of our chat JS and make sure that our chat works. And the structure for this is very similar with our layout, or basically our HTML files. Next come our media. Our media is where we keep all of our images and SVG files. So images like our avatars, uh, maybe certain book thumbnails, and then our SVGs are located here. We have um, certain SVG uh, avatars or even some logos for credit cards and um, so on. All these images here are royalty um, free so you are allowed to use this within your project and yeah feel free to use it. Next comes our plugins. These are certain plugins that we use within Metronic 8. We have like a bootstrap session session um, timeout, uh, some form, uh, form validation and so on. And then we have our SAS. Our SAS is where we keep all of our stylings within Metronic. So in our base, we have this functions and mixins, and within components, we have a whole bunch of stuff. So like um, our buttons, our forms, our accordions, like a cursor, cards, everything is all styled in this folder. 
our layout is where we keep our main layouts like our side, our top bar, our header, maybe a footer and a print version and so on. Vendors is where we keep all of our uh, third-party plugins that we are overriding the default styles. So like our Apex charts or maybe our CK editors or maybe like uh, flat pickers or drop zones, stuff like that. Um, they have their own styling, so but uh, what we have is we override those styles with our own Metronic 8 styles so that it has a unified standard in terms of UI and UX. As you can see, we have a certain folders here like Angular, React, and Vue. These are upcoming front-end frameworks that will be included within Metronic 8, so stay tuned for that. And I think that's pretty much it for our files and folders for Metronic 8. Um, yep, yeah, so I, f I hope you find this video informative. We will definitely go through like uh, more. We we'll definitely go through in more detail in terms of the uh, the build tools like Gob and Webpack, and maybe how we can customize certain things, like how we can customize our SAS files to ensure that you fit your project's look and feel. We we'll definitely go through all those stuff. In, uh, in our later videos. So please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that every time when we create a new um, video, you get an update. So if you did find this video informative, please give us a like and please follow us on our social medias like our Twitter and Facebook. Links will be in the, in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.